Alright guys, welcome to the channel and to another video. For this one, I'm going to be answering some questions. What I'm thinking is I'm going to take some time, I'm going to do a video based off a question that I get to give you guys more content. So let's get to it. I'm going to answer your questions on YouTube live. Let's go. Let me preface this, this it's not a live video, but you get what I mean. I'm being on video and I'm going to answer your comments one by one. So anywho, let's get to it. So let's see here. Uh, the, first vi the first comment that I got here was, I installed the charge pipe and now my car has a rough idle. This is from Fear Taco. First of all, what tacos do you like? Because this is your Fear Taco. So, hey, let me know. Drop a comment. I want to know what tacos you like. So, this one says, I installed a charge pipe and now my car has a rough idle. I don't think your charge pipe caused rough idle. Personally, that's never happened to me. Um, there is a sensor on the map. There is a sensor on the charge pipe and if you dirty that, that may cause something in your car, so I would consider cleaning it. Also, check your intake, because a lot of times when you install a aftermarket cold air intake, you have to remove the MAF. And if you don't put that MAF sensor at a properly clean place, uh, you may expose it to some dust. And if that MAF sensor is dirty, it could cause some idling issues. So I recommend you watch this video up here, you clean it, put it back on, and if you're still getting rough idles, then look into your spark plugs, right? Do some tests, I have a video on that as well. I mean, that may help you solve the rough idle. Now, if you check the spark plugs, the coil packs, and even the MAF sensor, you're still getting rough idles, maybe change up the gas station you're going to, because there's some gas stations that just suck, and that may cause a problem to you having a rough idle. So once you've done all those things, and you're still getting a rough idle, I would probably go get it checked out by a specialist or go to your warranty, take advantage of your warranty, go to a BMW dealership and get it checked out. The charge pipe just handles, uh, you know, uh, pressure. It's, it's, it's turbo air going back to your motor, right? That is, has nothing to do with the rough idle unless you installed it improperly and there's like a leakage somewhere, but hey, I would make sure it's like super sturdy on, you know, installed. Um, but yeah, the charge pipe is preventative maintenance, right? The stock OEM one that's on most F30s are super, super brittle, like you can bend it almost, and that's just, that, that makes me nervous. So I would definitely swap that out. So anywho, uh, yeah, thanks a lot for asking that question, Fear Taco. Guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you next week.